What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you the exotics we know about so far coming with the Forsaken DLC this September. Now Bungie confirmed we will get between 10 and 15 new exotics within the Forsaken DLC and so far I believe we know of 7 exotics that have been revealed. Some we know the names of, others we don't. But before we get into the video guys, every single month to give back to my most loyal subscribers I am giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning it, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. You must obviously also be subscribed to the channel. Enter giveaway via the gleam link linked at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit people good luck everybody who enters okay so Bungie during an interview with Game Informer confirmed that there was going to be between 10 and 15 new exotics added to the game we have seen glimpses so far of seven exotic weapons so unless they meant 15 exotic weapons not include new exotic armors I believe we've basically seen more or less every exotic weapon the Forsaken DLC may offer but we will see people we will see okay so first up we have this exotic sword now as far as I know at the moment we don't actually have a confirmed name for this exotic sword we have seen a little bit of gameplay on it on behalf of Bungie but other than what we see here not much is known about this weapon it does look super cool though the sword itself seems to unleash some kind of void sonic boom upon swinging it that in itself is something we haven't seen before from any previous sword because if you think about it people swords are pretty much the same thing over and over I mean you swing them they kill simple they can't really keep dropping these exotic swords that are basically doing the same old same old thing so it's good to see something coming which looks unique and actually offers something unique okay so next up we have this hand cannon also reminiscent of the old school fawn now I've seen many people say it's the rose I actually disagree the rose is a weapon that actually turned it into the fawn here is a quick summary on the rose the fawn was once called rose and it belonged to the guardian Dredgen Yor once a noble hero Yor eventually fell to darkness after looking to the hive to try and look for more ways to defeat the darkness. He was soon consumed by the darkness and he and his hand cannon rose began wastingly murdering innocents and consuming their light. Ever since, it has been hung before the light of other guardians. Whether before or after it was built, Thor became bound to Exure, the unwed. Killing her removes the link and enables guardians to safely use Thorn without the risk of corruption. I mean, in reality, people, it can't possibly be the rules unless there's some kind of vex time travel shit that's taken place, but I highly doubt that. Well, whatever this weapon is or might be, I'm super looking forward to learning more about it. I mean, I ain't much of a lore man. It doesn't really interest me, but certain things do, and this is one of them. Is it another weapon of Zoro? It has to be. Could it somehow be an evolved version of the Thorn? I suppose. Again, people, we just don't know. Next up, we have this trash rifle. Now, name at the moment, we don't know what this is. Bear no doubt it will be void as it's the missing trace rifle. I mean, we have the solar version with the Prometheus lens and we have the arc version with the cold heart. So this, whatever it is, has to be a void trace rifle. Gameplay there isn't much at all to go on, just a few snippets of it being fired, but nothing else is known about this weapon so far. Okay, so moving on, and we have this epic, unique rocket launcher called the Twin Rabbit. A truly unique one-off exotic. So what's special about this? Well, we know it beholds two different burn types, no people, it isn't like the hard light, you can't switch between burns. It actually fires two rockets at the same time, each rocket offering a different burn. How epic is that? We can see details of the two primary perks on screen now. Gravity and Fire, which basically fires a solar and void tracking rockets. This is paired with another unique secondary perk that causes the void rocket to suppress the target and the solar rocket causes burn damage over time. Sounds epic and to be honest it will come in very handy for sure. I can't wait to learn more about this exotic. Next up we have an exotic which basically surrounds the DLC and that is the Ace of Spades, the weapon Aldrin kills Cade with. Now to be honest we actually haven't seen any gameplay of this weapon. All we've seen is a cinematic of it being used to end Cade's career and just going by that people, to be honest it wouldn't be enough to confirm it's actually a weapon chaser in the game. But with the deluxe edition it's basically confirmed to be an in-game exotic as with this pre-order edition you get the last hand exotic ornament for the ace of spades so yeah it's definitely in the game but other than that people there's not much really known about the weapon in destiny 2 if i had to guess i'd say it's rewarded to you upon defeating aldrin as we know he is the one who currently has it but yeah people we will wait and see okay so moving on and as we know we are getting a whole new type of weapon to the game the legendary bow what we have seen on it so far looks great what we've heard about it so far sounds great 
So it was obvious there was going to be an exotic bowl in the DLC, and there is, and it's called the Trinity Ghoul. And we do see brief glimpses of it on behalf of Bungie, which you can see on screen now. Now I know there is gameplay out there of this weapon being used, I mean many people used it when they went to play Gambit. So if you did search the World Wide Web, you would find gameplay of it. So the Trinity Ghoul is the first of no doubt many exotic balls that we will see in the future of the game. Lastly guys, we have the most recently announced Exotic the Cerberus Plus One. The exotic also rifle which has four barrels and actually uses each one. A little is known about this weapon thanks to Game Informer. Each of its four barrels fire off simultaneously, leading to a constant spread of bullets in a large area. The weapon is best at point blank, where its spread is absolutely lethal. But as an assault rifle, it's no slouch at range either. It's tuned to kind of generally give the same DPS at most ranges, so it's got this weird drop off pattern. The middle bullet is always in the middle, so you can always guarantee at least that bullet will hit. Cerberus plus one's perks also make it versatile. The spread shot package focuses on spread while aiming down the sight, making it more versatile against the long distant enemies. Spraying it from the hip, obviously that spread goes crazy. So if there's a group of enemies in front of you, you spray this thing from the hip. So the weapon itself people to me sounds great, it sounds super fun and it is super unique looking and I cannot wait to start the chase for this weapon and the other 6 exotics I have covered today people. And that is the end of the video, those are the 7 exotics we know about so far coming to the Forsaken DLC on September 4th. If any new info drops around the game people, I will have you guys covered here on my channel. Let me know your thoughts on these exotics down below in that comment section people. If you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit that like button, it really does help me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.